Hi guys, got a second channel vlog here. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit more about my new irons. I didn't want to do this on the main channel because I know a lot of people won't really be interested in watching quite a long video about them. Um, uh, just just getting a, a new set of irons, but um, I think that it's something that I, I'd be interested in watching from one of my subscribers. So I thought uh, if there was anyone out there who wanted to watch it, I might as well uh, make this video. So hopefully on the main channel you've already seen that I got fitted for a set of Rocket Blades irons, the uh, the R Blades Tour from TaylorMade um, with the KBS uh, Tour shafts, Stiflex. Uh, in them, I got them four through uh, pitching, which you can see behind me, uh, seven eyes in total. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit more about um, some of the stuff that I did uh, during the fitting and, and why I got no irons at all. So, um, so I just want to start right at the beginning. So, my old irons, the um, if you go right the way back to my, my old channel, which was Vaughan Golf, um, I had Ladies Flex Rocket Balls irons. Um, which I really liked. I was uh, 14 when I got when I got them. Um, I got them. I got fitted for them. Well, not fitted. I tried them out um, with a launch monitor when I was 14 on my 14th birthday. I used them for about a year and a half, um, and at that point, the ladies' flex shafts were t were just not up for for dealing with the speed that I'd um, grown into uh, in the year and a half that I'd been using them. At the same time, a friend of mine, Toby, who's also one of the people who uh, works on, uh, uses a uh, WG Impact. Um, back, back at the time, he was THB0811. Um, he had um, ping eye red dots. I think that's this is even before he um, he he started YouTubing. Um, he had ping eye red dots, and a friend at school had a, um, a set of Titleist 690CB irons. And this this guy's tall, and he was getting a bit too tall for these irons, so he he sold them to Toby, um, and they've got Dynamic Gold R three hundred shafts in them, and Toby bought them off him for a very good price. It was something about fifty pounds, which a stab in the dark would be about eighty dollars US dollars. Um, so he's very good for a full set of irons, uh, four through pitching wedge, um, and Toby used those for a, a little bit. Um, Right up until he uh, started struggling with the um, all the grips as well, but also the, the shaft flex. He felt they were too whippy for him, and he didn't want to spend a lot of money getting re gripped um, a pretty old set of irons. So he bought a completely new set of Nike VR Victory red irons, split cavity backs, um, uh, S three hundred shafts, so stiffer, and they had uh, multi compounds on them, which he's a really big fan of. And that's when I adopted the. Uh, the S three hundred six ninety CVs, which is what I had in the first what's in the back video on this channel, and the agreement that I made with him is I'd get them regripped, um, and and that would be kind of what I paid him to use them because he owns them. I uh, paid him to use them for about six months because the agreement that I made with my dad was when I was fourteen it was on my sixteenth birthday I'd get fitted for a new set of irons, um, so I I got the the six ninety CVs. Got them regripped and used them for six months, and I really liked them. But June third came rolling around, uh, time to get fitted for some new irons. Uh, so I get, so I had them regripped with the green and black multi comps, and I gave them back to Toby. Um, I went down to the, the fitting centre at the, the golf club where I work at in London. Um, because I worked there, they gave me quite a good deal, and I was able to just turn up and get on the spare launch monitor and and hit all of, all of their irons and um, all of their shafts as well. So I hit. A lot of irons, like a lot of hit, um, uh, all of the tailor-made, so the MBs, the MCs, um, the Rocket Blades, the Rocket Blades Tour, um, Titleist, AP1s, AP2s, MBs, CBs, the Zuno MP54s, MP52s, um, and the MP69s, and also the Ping, um, so some of the Ping irons, the Callaway X-Hot, uh, Callaway Forged, uh, Cobra Pro Amp Cells, uh, I just tried, I tried them all, and Going into it, I kind of I knew I wanted tailor made. I'm a sucker for their marketing. I I I, I feel stupid for liking their marketing, but I'm a big fan of it to be honest. I think that they they do a great great job marketing it, and I feel that these irons like feel a lot cooler and they they have a lot more kind of. I, I feel really weird saying this, but I feel like they've got more personality. 
than the Mizuno irons, which are just the Mizuno MP69s. How much more boring can you get, really? And then there's the Rocket Blades. I mean, they, they just felt more like my personality, more kind of exciting. So I, I, I went into it knowing that I wanted tailor-made. Um, and uh, the, the first clubs I hit were the tailor-made MBs. And um, I'm just a player that can't use bladed irons. And I really struggled with the MBs. Um, and I, I went through quite a lot. My numbers with all of the blades, so the, the Titleist and the Mizuno 69s and everything else, I really struggled with them. Um, I, I was able to hit them, but my numbers weren't consistent enough. And on the, the, the picture I had in my head is, on a bad day, would I feel confident with the 4-iron? Or if I, it was a cold day on a 4-iron, if I was playing badly, would I be happy to get it out? And I just thought, no, that's... Blades, Blades wasn't the right option, and my numbers kind of proved that. Um, so I really kind of was looking at kind of split cavities, so um, very much like Toby's current irons, the Nikes. Um, so I tried the CBs, and the ones with the bit more weighting in the bottom, so the AP2s and the MP53s, uh, I think they are, the ones with the big kind of tungsten weight in the bottom, they were launching a lot better for me, getting a lot more consistent numbers. I felt that forgiveness was the number one priority, really. Um, I feel forgiveness and distance were the three things I looked for. Um, feel forgiveness, distance in that order as well. Um, and I, I like the feel of of, um, of the blades, but the distance and consistency uh, forgiveness just wasn't there. Um, and eventually, after two hours in the fitting bay, um, the only two clubs that I carried on hitting were the tailor-made rocket blades tour and the tightest AB twos. Very similar, one's cast, one forged, can't really tell a um, massive difference. These clip off the face a little, a little bit louder, and uh, um, and that was, they, they just felt a little bit louder off the face, and I was getting a bit more distance out of them, but the ones that I was capturing pure, they felt a little bit nicer off of the Titleists. So, in the, in the end, I, I almost said, Dad, let's, let's just flip a coin, and then he obviously goes, we'll just get the cheap ones then. Um, but it was one of those kind of coin tosses where you knew what you wanted the outcome to be. And I did get these, which um, I got a very good price um, for from the shop where I work at. They gave me a good deal. I also got um, uh, 12 lethals with the deal and a, a hat as well they gave me as well, just for buying a set of irons. So yeah, that's the full story. I did want to just get in front of the camera and just talk a little bit more about them because I thought that it would be interesting if, if one of the people I'm subscribed to uh, posted this kind of video. I, I'm sure I would listen. And uh, and if, if you didn't like it, then um, and <laughs> so, no, there's not a lot I can do. But if you did like it, thank you for uh, watching these videos. Uh, the second channel is going quite well. We really want to kind of grow the second channel a bit more. Um, but yeah, so thanks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, Please keep on watching videos on the main channel as well. It's going really well. We really appreciate all of that. Please go like us on Facebook. We've got a lot of stuff going on Facebook, and we're going to put more. We've got questions to our subscribers. We want to know. We want to know your feedback. We've got surveys. We've got information about uh, where, we're, where we're playing and how we're playing. And links to all our videos are there as well, so you get them on your news feed when we upload, so you don't miss any WG impact. How good is that? Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so.